Okay, so we've got Colonel here. If you look closely, you can see he still has mites, which is really frustrating. I wish he would, I wish he would start dusting more. But, so we're gonna spray in this, in the vent area, and we're gonna give him a good lathering of this nasty concoction. Hey guys, we are out doing our chores. We were a little delayed today. Um, Esther was making some soap, and so we had to focus on that as a priority this morning, but finally making it out to do our little bit of chores, and I thought I'd bring you guys along, and sorry if it's too zoomed in. I dropped, I dropped my camera this morning and messed up the 16 to 35 lens, so we're having to do 24 to 70. So it's a little, whoa, a little punched in. Um, but a few weeks ago, we had probably like 10, was it 10 days of rain straight? It was about 10 days straight of rain. And um, our, our chickens, like they couldn't dust because it was so wet, it was awful. And we ended up getting mites, having chickens. I see, there's eight, eight, eight chickens. All right, pause. Um, you have to use a shovel or something. What? Whoa, hi. Oh. You guys probably can't see the chicken eggs under there, but we'll have to send a kid or something under there. So we had our chickens get mites, and so we started trying to address this. We first started with just um, diatomaceous earth, and giving them that to dust in, it helped. It helped a good bit, but it didn't fully get rid of the mites. And then we started with a concoction that smells absolutely horrific. It is garlic, garlic juice, is that what they call it? Garlic juice, lavender, like lavender essential oils, clove, it's done really well so far. All of the chickens are mite free with the exception of our Lang Shans. And I think that's just cause they don't dust as much. Um, and this will be our third week giving it to everyone. So you go and you take the, the concoction and you spray it uh, on their bottom, <laughs> which is really gross, but that's really where the mites hang out. And then if you have we have some breeds that are crested, so they have the little poof on their head. Cream crested leg bars are what we have that have the crest. For those, you wanna make sure you're spraying the crest as well. And those are the primary spots, at least for our birds, where the mites hang out. And this, this has really been an effective way to address our issue. Why are you laughing at me? Oh, okay, I thought Esther was laughing at me. I thought Esther was saying, I'm doing all the work and you're over here filming some stupid video. <laughs> but we wanted to share this information with you. Uh, I'm gonna go, we're gonna grab some chickens and I'll show you how to spray them with the juice. But order a uh, glass water bottle with a spray lid and then we use our Vitamix to make the garlic juice. Blend it up really good, that's the base, and then drop in the essential oils, the lavender, the clove, those things. It's all fragrant based, so it, it essentially runs them off because it smells, it, it smells. It smells, that's, that's all there is to it. It's awful. So, we've got our nasty concoction. We didn't make it out here before the rain started. So what we do is we take this and we spray on all the roosting bars throughout everything in the coop. I already did that. You did the nesting boxes? I did it. And then, well, I mean, I did the nesting boxes oh, over there, but... One. And then because they Ooh. sit in the nesting boxes, we spray in there as well. Although these guys don't like to use their nesting boxes. And then we're gonna grab a chicken. Esther's gonna hold it. I'm gonna film and spray it and we'll show you. <laughs> Yay. Okay, so we've got Colonel here. 
if you look closely, you can see he still has mites, which is really frustrating. I wish he would, I wish he would start dusting more. But, so we're gonna spray in this, in the vent area, and we're gonna give him a good lathering of this nasty concoction and put him back in. Again, wow, this is, so if, <laughs> So we'll check, I check myself. Because Esther will get them See, on her look. hands. That's disgusting. They are not, um. They're microscopic. They're, and they will bite you, but they, they can't live on you, you for very long. They will bite you, but they're not parasitic to humans. They'll bite you just because they're jerks. Um, okay, but it is raining really badly. So, so, this is so we fun. have a bunch more to do. And so we're going to turn the video camera off. Now you know how to get rid of mites naturally without using chemicals. Yeah, and you can, I'm gonna, we do, I'll tell you, three things you do. You do environmental, put some everyday lime in, or some, in some, some everyday lime in your environment. Uh, diatomaceous earth, that's external for them and the spray of the gunky stuff. Internal, we have a additive for their food that's with garlic. Um, sprinkle for their food so that when they eat it they taste you know makes their bodies taste bad tonight so environmental external internal and hopefully we get and this yes, stuff that's external and environmental and nasty all in one. it's just nasty yeah so we are gonna sign off so that we don't ruin our camera any more than I already have today all right the rain is over <laughs> I've got mites all over my hands. So I'm gonna go get a shower, but if you guys like this video, please press like and subscribe to our channel. Um, I hope it helped. If it, if you guys have any other questions on how we're approaching mites, you know, again, we're going for very natural, homeopathic, organic approach. We don't wanna put any chemicals with our birds. We, we eat our eggs, we hatch our eggs. We're very, very cautious about this and this is the first time we've run into this issue, but again, it's because we live in a, such a wet environment, 10 days straight of rain, I think is really what drove that. Um, we're pretty diligent about, I'd say we're very diligent about keeping our coops clean, making sure that we have fresh bedding, there's mulch. Uh, so I think that's why, and we're gonna continue to use this juice and hopefully it works. So thanks guys, have a good day.